up tonight, help on the way for businesses and homeowners who lost everything in the historic flooding last month. Thanks for joining us tonight on Eyewitness News at 11. I'm Stephanie Simone. Disaster relief money was approved earlier today, and Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Brian Reed is live in Naugatuck with more on the money coming in and how you can get some help. Brian. Yeah, Stephanie, well, just over a month ago today, you might remember that this was one of the homes that was uh, inundated with floodwaters. As a matter of fact, the uh, foundation of the home is missing today. Now, it's homes and businesses like this that were affected that need this money so much that will be helping out the three hardest hit counties, New Haven, Fairfield, and Litchfield. We have a long road ahead of putting those pieces together. But money is on the way after the federal government had declared a disaster emergency from last month's historical flooding in New Haven, Fairfield, and Litchfield counties. We want to rebuild back, but rebuild better, rebuild with resilience, because our new normal is that it's not a hundred-year storm, it's a five-year storm. Senator Blumenthal, Governor Lamont, and other state leaders speaking about the new funding what families and local businesses need to do in order to receive it, how long it may take, and help in the interim. One thing I would say to people is collect your receipts, document your damage, take pictures of what took place. If you haven't had a chance to repair anything yet, take a picture of it. But FEMA is going to want to see what it costs you to repair whatever's there. The sooner families and businesses apply, the hope is they'll receive the money within about two weeks. In the meantime, disaster recovery centers are being set up to help people deal with losses and struggles they can get immediate help for. Now, money is also coming to municipalities to help them repair any roadways and government properties that were damaged by the flooding. But for now, the application is only open to homeowners and businesses. That open that application we actually have for you on our website, WFSB.com, so you can look for it. For now, live in Nagatuck, Brian Tree. Channel 3 Eyewitness News.